Hey friends, so welcome to my channel, welcome back if you are a returning subscriber and welcome if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Jackie, if you didn't catch that, and yeah, here we are, this sharing a few clips here, this is our fireworks, there's the baby bump, beautiful of a little baby girl after our three darling boys here, as you can see, having a ball with a few little fireworks in the backyard, <laughs> they were enjoying so much. It was a really nice evening and sunset, we could see see a fireworks in all of the um, neighboring properties here as you can see and like I say in the sunset it was so nice fun head by all Now we also, at the same time as um, this comes around, it's also our Blakey boy's birthday. He turned a big seven years old. Our darling boy, I can't believe. Such a smart, handsome boy. Very clever. So a few clips of his birthday there, as you can see, he was so thrilled with his presents and lazy tag and things. And then here's a red velvet cupcake, I mean cupcake, his birthday cake, he, that's his favourite, that's what he wanted. A few pics here of our boys, Halloween, that's also the same time, so it's all around the beginning of November. Heaps going on and um, just had to share those cute little pics of that. Anyway, to this house, as you can see, boxes and things everywhere. So all of this unpacking and setting up the house, I've jammed into this one video, hence it's longer. I have got multiple days over the whole week of these green boxes before they had to go back to the Highridge company. Um, and yeah, so there's every day I was just doing a ton. So it's all jammed into this video. Here I am cleaning the kitchen first, getting everything tidied up and put away. So that's along this journey. Then I will also be emptying a lot of the boxes, getting the the things situated into cupboards and um, where I'd like things stored and then onto the laundry where I will you'll see the hot mess of that um, a lot of things I need to get put away a lot of things I'm going to fill up and yeah get into homes I'm going to tackle the boys room set that up the linen cupboard my room and yeah my wardrobe in my room as well, I'm walking wardrobe, so there is a ton in this whole video um, that hopefully is motivating and or, you know, inspiring, whatever that might be, you might be just putting this on to um, follow along and do some cleaning along with me, that's cool too, but um, yeah, thanks so much for being here my friends, and um, exciting, let's get to doing this.
So as you see, just getting a ton put away and tidied up as I go along. Um, this basket here specifically is lots of things that I had bought, new click clack containers that I'm just putting straight in the cupboard for when I'm going to use them and fill up in my cupboard. I got these few little plants and pot at Mitre 10. I really love them. They're so cute. They've got little rope, little handles, and um, it's like a woven texture, but a two-tone white and like the um, brownie kind of terracotta. Really cute. These are a whole bunch of new kids' plates I got, um, like, you know, melamime. Um, just so they don't smash and bash. I'm sure you saw us putting, um, saw me putting away my plates before, and there's some chips and things on the bowls. Yeah, that's the kids. They're a little bit rough with the ceramics yet, so I've gone and got these these melamimes. They were eight dollars originally, but I think it was sixty percent off. I got on the sale, so I love a sale. I only like to buy things when they're on sale, really. So. Um, once I'd seen them I thought yep that's what I want and then I just need to get some bowls as well and they're a decent size and I really like the colors as you saw there's like a brownie and then my favorite which is like the green um so yeah two-tone really like those and they are good for the kids like I say um and moving along just like I say cleaning along the way getting everything done and wiped down as you're unpacking things and creating and making you know bits of mess and dust i decided i'd use this um two-tiered tray here and put my little coffee station on it to start with i wasn't sure um i had bought at this point a um what's it called a little like a little shelf thing from um kmart but it hadn't arrived yet um just to stand and maybe make a coffee bar on so i haven't gone ahead and done that yet but i thought that looked pretty cool it got the um fruit basket up as well off the bench just otherwise the bench just gets full of bits after bits after bits you know you need the kettle the toaster and where else do you put it in the pantry i'm not sure um so anyway yeah went ahead and put that here the space where i'm cleaning the fridge is a nice big space to put a double fridge and that's what we want to aim for in the future um we really really do need to get as you can see the handle's fallen off one there's still some gadgets on the side there that <laughs> used to lock it from when ashton was younger and used to get into the fridge um but yeah just things come at a price and just take time so um yeah definitely looking around hopefully we can snap one up on a good deal and one that's decent enough size for our family because this thing sure looks overflowing when you open it anyway finishing up here and then i'm on to the laundry disaster you guys Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my depth, even though it makes no sense. Sometimes I'm broken, too much. 
much of emotions. So does I'm the lighting. Don't wanna pick a fight with. Okay, so here we are, the state of the laundry room at the moment. Everything is still packaged up and wrapped up and just dumped here. I want to be able to hopefully put my sign up on the side of the wall here, get some nice um, maybe black hooks. So I've just got all the kids' school bags dumped here and maybe I'd be able to just get them up on a hook on the wall here. So I don't have anything on that side yet. I've just got the laundry basket, like I say, everything put away and nice new tables are bench tops I should say now that these are on we can decorate and get things done if you guys remember this bench top at the last place there was no tub in the middle the tub was on the side and the washers were together washer and dryer and the bench top was together so all we did was literally just cut it and um, yeah make it individual for each little one to go on so just got some packets to sit on the machine um, and I brought my shelf from the last place. I just hope you've been through worse. Sometimes I'm broken. Too much of emotions. Sometimes I'm the lighting. Don't want to pick a fight with. So yeah, just emptying things, getting things situated and put into a home and this is a fun part, I always love filling up these containers, so super satisfying. Um, as you see my powder here, I never fill it right to the top, I only do it about halfway because it's a jolly big powder container and you guys, it gets really heavy to be lifting off the top shelf, so I just yeah half fill it and then it's not going to like break the handle or fall on me and tip all the powder out. So that's why I do that and then save the rest just to fill up. 
Um, this is the liquid I went, a lot, went ahead with. Um, I just really like the aesthetic of the nice um, blue colour and uh, contrast to the uh, white fabric softener and then yeah my powder. So those are the, the detergents that I normally like to use in my washing. You guys, I'm curious. Leave me a comment. I always love to know what do you like to use for your washing? Is it liquid? Is it the powder? Is it the pods or the washing machine sheets that you can put in with it? And um, yeah, if so, do you have a fragrance? Do you like it unfragranced? What's your favorite scent? up all of our powder laundry softener and laundry liquid so that's all of them all filled up now got my dryer balls um, which you can see dots on because I put my um, essential oils of my um, so I've got that Okay, with uh, Winston's handy dandy help, I'm going to go ahead and get the sign put up now and bring my vision to life and get the hooks up and for the kids' school okay, bag. So, I've just gone ahead and built this shoe rack, as you can see. Um, real simple, just a few screws to put together with an Allen key, and um, yeah, so it fits just with enough room to be shutting the door. I've got my laundry basket there, as you can see. Now, these are the hooks that I've gone ahead and got double screws, so when they're in the wall, they should be um, nice and strong. So yeah, hang this up and I'm really, really stoked with how this area came out. Like I say, just like my vision that I had and it is all neat, it is tidy. The kids can come in here and hang their things up, find their school things. Their shoes are here on the shelf with their book bags, homework book bags. And yeah, otherwise this wall would be used for nothing else. So it's a good use of space. 
Now to the laundry here, I have my mops down the side. As you can see, the iron is up in the basket. Just things have a place and it feels good that things are organized. It is looking tidy and um, yeah, just I like how it has all come out. If you guys know me, then I am not a very materialistic person. I am not changing decors and changing things out all the time and putting new things in this is pretty much kind of the things that I had at my last place like I say I even brought the bench top because it is really expensive hardwood and a really nice I don't know I just love the feel of my laundry I love coming in here spending time um, doing the laundry you know it's not a favorite chore of mine but um, yeah I like the space I like the different textures that the room's got with the wood the glass you know and then it's got the pops of the flowers and other pretty things in the baskets with the textures themselves with the material in it and then the um, metal outside so I just like how it all came together and then now with that book you know the bags hung up on the other side as well it's just a really nice space so pretty much it brought all of that and put that back together in that laundry and you'll see the theme moving throughout the house pretty much what the kids had in their last room I am putting back and putting together in their new room this is Hunter's room here and as you can see this is most of the same things and kind of same setup um, I did not go wild and start buying a whole bunch of new things and, and changing it all up like I say moving into a new house um, there's a lot of extra costs and things involved anyway so yeah just that's me and how I roll um, once I find something that I like I normally like to stick with it for quite a while and um, yeah with you I feel like breaking rules on the edge Looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, screening out With us it's all or nothing
So this is how I've set this up, nice and simple for Hunter. Lego in the different baskets, so they're out of sight, but he can just grab those at his own leisure and rebuild them. He doesn't keep them built up all the time. They've got the instructions and pieces in, so those are his ones. Otherwise, just his Beyblades and um, bigger monster trucks, comic books and things. Um, yeah, so this is it. Pretty plain and simple, but nice, tidy, and I really like this room. It's really bright. It is the smallest of them all, really cozy and um yeah done and dusted for now i'm happy with how it's all organized wardrobe as well tackled so yay now on to this linen cupboard i am just bringing as you can see the moving boxes and uh, yeah okay not too much space in this cupboard that we are working with as you can see it's got these timber slat shelves kind of move so them two so one two three and oh that's the little vacuum the attachments i've just put down there so i'll go ahead i've got my baskets obviously for my towels and then all of the bed linens i will put on the different shelves and organize as well remember that song we used to sing in the rain You know, I've got most of them just here, kids ones in the back here, and then our ones that we mostly use, quite common at the front. And then like all of our main towels and all of the kids towels and blanket. And then at the bottom I can put the um, vacuum in there. So that'll be alright. Now in the dining and entryway I went with this simple look, I like the mirror here, I picked up this cabinet from Kmart, I really like it, it's the rattan kind of style, it stores all our shoes in it um, and yeah, just keeps things out of sight, out of mind, got my plant from the last house there, looks really nice, and then I went with this basket wall, I collected baskets, placemats, greenery, picked up a new clock and made this really happy with the vibe it gives off, so you know, just homely and warm like.
So on to another day here setting up. I, like I say, had a week to unpack all the boxes and set up the rooms. So I just took my time, just like packing up my last house. So this is exciting, getting to unwrap everything again. And just to situate and, you know, make the combinations as I would like and um, put this space together. I really love how it does come together. It's a really cosy, cosy little homely you know kind of like retreat in here i love sitting in it's a really bright room with the big window you can look out to the lawn and it's gorgeous and you know spring at, at the moment so it's really pretty even looking out to the courtyard on the opposite side with the ranch lighter you can open fresh air birds the pretty blossoms and flowers and things so yeah like i say really retreat like loving it and um yeah doing this and then i'll move on to my wardrobe so a ton of motivation still to come we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if i can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Okay, so that's nice and tidy. This is pretty much empty now. All the paper rubbish. Another frame to go in the office. This needs to go into my room, this cabinet mirrors out these are just a whole bunch of clothes and things i need to put away yeah pretty happy that's nice and tidy real cozy and homely feeling i love the wooden bed in the nice big window that lets a lot of light in this is the state of our um a wardrobe at the moment i have got clothes and shoes and you name it everywhere there's so much stuff anyway i'm gonna move this stuff i can bring that um that wider cabinet in here i just want to let you know i could go for this no more tricks we could take things slow say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign, baby give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in. just having a little chuckle there before as I saw myself squeezing past the cabinet with this ever-growing <laughs> belly <laughs> baby girl she's happy and healthy and everything's growing well so that's good my three previous boys had been SGA babies which were small growth um a four pound five pound and Ash just hit six so they were little babies and so this time with the baby girl, I've actually been doing the low dose aspirin, which thins my blood and really feeds through the placenta, um, lets that blood flow really good. So baby girl's on track and growing really, you know, a lot better this time, seems to be. So um, that's really positive. And you guys, 
check out I love how I pack these I'm so happy that I left them on the coat hangers in the actual moving boxes because look how easy it is just to be hanging these things up it is a dream so yes definitely something I'll be doing if I ever move again but I can't see that happening in many years to come we're happy in this house and yeah no I don't wish that upon myself anytime soon you guys I'm going to finish up with this wardrobe and uh, yeah I hope you all got some a great motivation and inspiration from today's video like I say my videos are a little bit slow on coming out these were filmed a little while ago and I'm trying to play catch up just you know the story of my life so um, as fast as I can I know people are putting Christmas videos and things up already I am nowhere near that I am heavily pregnant about to have baby girls so um, not far off I'll keep you guys posted thanks for being here guys see you next time current situation of the kids room we're about to put up the bunk bed